Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 240 is going to make a lot of you upset because we're taking a break from the main fight of Sukuna, Yuji, and whoever the other guy was, I guess, going to come in there and box him. And, and having, a, I guess, a side battle of Kenjaku. <laughs> Oh my god, of Kenjaku versus Takaba. I, I just, I can't even imagine, like, the purpose of this side story, but we, we get a flashback of Jujutsu Kaisen sorcerers discussing the plan of what to do after the fight. Because naturally, as you know, there's two circumstances that could occur. One, Gojo wins, and they all have to fight Kenjaku afterwards. Again, Kenjaku has thousands of years of experience. He knows knowledge, tech, curse spirits. He has Ghetto's body, so he's going to be a threat. And the most likely time for him to attack is going to be right after the fight's over. Inversely, if somehow Gojo is able to lose, uh, then we're going to need a way to stop him uh, before he becomes a problem. Because no one wants to fight Tsukuna, Kenjaku, and everyone else at the same time. Kusakabe then mentions that, hey, we, with Maki's help, I'm pretty sure we can catch this guy off guard. But, it, you know, it, it would be nonsense to split their strength before fighting against Tsukuna because he is the main reason they're all here. It's, it makes no sense to go off on the side missions if we can't even take care of the main boss. I like that logic, I'm not gonna lie. Then we get the craziest recommendation ever. Not crazier than Naruto being recommended as a Jonin immediately after the Ninja War. Crazier than Deku getting All Might's quirk over Lemillion. Angel recommends sending Takaba against Kenjaku. <laughs> she, they're serious about it, I swear. It, it, the scaling in these verses is getting crazy, especially when you factor in abilities like this. One Piece fans are about to be hurt. And just like me, Hakuri and, you know, Kusakibe, like, they're both saying, hey, I don't know about this recommendation. Uh, <laughs> this doesn't make too much sense. I'm not seeing your logic. Why on earth should we send him? Then we get a very weird and ominous moment where they're like, hey, this might be a bad influence on Takaba's technique, um, so I probably shouldn't say anything. So don't tell anyone, because as we all know within the Jujutsu Kaisen verse, you explain your ability, it makes it stronger, you don't, it makes it weaker. But she's about to explain his curse technique, and for some reason, we're seeing that it, it could potentially have negative impacts on it. I've never seen that happen before. He must have a busted ability, spoiler alert. Back into the fight, Kenjaku is just chasing down Takaba with these center centipedes, like just biting all over his body. This is insane. Um, then he realizes that his curse technique was completely rejected. <laughs> Takaba then, I don't know how, but he puts on American flag bandana uh, on top of Kenjaku and says it in English that you can't beat me. It's like he's trolling him. So I guess at this point, even Takaba's got Toon Force. Move out of the way, Gear 5 Luffy. Uh, one Punch Man, we got Takaba and his pseudo tune for it. Because apparently his CT is the ability to forcibly materialize all phenomenon and manner within his head. I'm praying this is a mistranslation. We don't need more Toon Force-ish people to get confused about, because at this point, you might as well put him above Gojo too. Heck, if we're putting Luffy above those, in those conversations of Naruto and Ichigo and all that, fine. But Takaba solos One Piece now, because he's Toon force -y. Look at that smirk on his face. Ugh. Even Kenny's realizing, hey, I may have all the data, but that ain't gonna do none for me here. I mean, I can't do none against this guy. But however, everything has a weakness. I'm gonna break it down. Uh, take that, rewind the clock, and, you know, sorry, for those of you who don't know, that was a little John Ludacris reference from a song. Anyway, next up, Takaba has to show a routine, his one-shot manga routine, to make Kenjaku laugh. I mean, what the heck is going on with these chapters? I feel like I'm in a fever dream. This is bad. I mean, it's not bad writing. Thinking of a side character taking on a main character, I kind of equate this to, uh, spoilers for Black Clover, but Magna versus like Dante in a sense. But I feel like Takaba's gonna get folded somehow. I mean, the name of his one shot is, don't marry me, I want you as my why fi like, it's supposed to be a play on words. Even Kenjaku's roasting them, saying, yo, this, this is kind of mid-pack, man. Your, your show kind of sucks. I don't know if I, I pilot this episode. I wouldn't give it the green light. Apparently, during this whole time, Kenjaku's just been casually analyzing the dude. He's been learning how his technique works. And apparently, he believes the conditions set are the user's confidence. So if they believe in themselves, if they believe that they're great, apparently, if you think you're funny, uh, makes you almost unbeatable. So Gojo having something like that would be nuts. That would be crazy. Would you guys like Gojo with that power over six eyes? Like, would that make him stronger than he was now? Let me know in the comment section. Takaba must be made of like a Nokia phone with his armor on because he is fine. He's like, hey, you're an amateur. You're a rookie. You don't like my jokes. You don't get them. That's fine. But you don't know anything about anything. Let's have a contest to say you can make the silliest face. So he tries to make them laugh. And I guess Kenjaku counters with this doofy face. Oh my God. I, I'll probably use that as my thumbnail. It looks so bad. 
Then again, bam, Kenjaku's hitting him from the back. Pause. Uh, and, and Takaba's losing a bit of that confidence. And it's we see his powers are slowly draining. He's like, it's okay. He's funny. I'll give him that because he was able to make him laugh. But I'm funny too. Then Takaba loses it when he sees Hazenuki's body. Oh my gosh, just lying there. Talk about a, a mood killer. Doesn't matter how funny you are. Seeing a, a homie like that, that's going to wane your confidence. Anyways, this chapter was, I mean, I don't even know. I like side characters getting fights. I feel like this is going to be another example of gore and another beatdown to subvert our expectations again, though. So I can't really appreciate it. I don't know. Anyways, if you love My Hero, sorry, if you love Jujutsu Kaisen or My Hero, actually, I did a video on that the same day. If you love these chapter reviews, if you love these spoilers, be sure to drop a like and let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching. Of course, as always, shout out to Juju, an amazing editor. We appreciate y'all. And let me know. I, I got to know. Do y'all actually think Takuma's going to win this? Because I'm, I'm calling Cap right now. If he does, then he scales beyond everyone because apparently he's got pseudo-tune force too.